This next episode of Georgia in Flight is about the transcontinental flight of W.D. Coney. William DeVoe Coney was born November 20th, 1893 in Atlanta. By 1900, his family had moved to Brunswick, Georgia. Coney was still living in Brunswick when the U.S. entered World War I and he joined the Army. He trained at Fort McPherson and served at stations across the country. At some point he became an Army aviator and was stationed at Carlstrom Field in Florida and later at Ebbets Field. In January of 1921, it was announced that the Army would be attempting a 24-hour cross-country trip by plane, making only one stop. Two pilots make the 2,079-mile trip. Starting at Rockwell Field in San Diego, Coney would fly to Love Field in Dallas, Texas to refuel, and he would then fly from Texas to Pablo Beach in Jacksonville, Florida. Another pilot, Lieutenant Alexander Pearson, would fly the same trip in reverse. Customized DH-4 airplanes were created for the trip. At 7 p.m. on February 22, 1921, Coney took off from San Diego. He successfully made his way to Texas, but then low on fuel and was forced to land in Bronte, Texas, as opposed to Love Field. He had trouble refueling in Bronte, as the fuel was not a high enough quality for his airplane. He had to stay in Texas all day before finally receiving good enough fuel to fly. On February 24, 1927, Coney arrived in Jacksonville, Florida. Because of the trouble with fuel, it had taken 36 hours and 27 minutes to fly across the country. However, he had only been in the air for 22 hours and 30 minutes, making him the first person to fly cross country in less than 24 hours flying time, with only one stop. Lieutenant Pearson experienced engine trouble and did not complete his trip. Coney felt he could complete the whole flight in 24 hours, including refueling. On March 25, 1921, he took off from Florida. At 7.30 p.m., he crashed into a tree in Crowville, Louisiana, on the farm of Mose Lanier. He was taken to a hospital in Natchez, Mississippi, and it was discovered he had broken his back. He passed away on March 30, 1921, and was buried in Brunswick. W.D. Coney's fight was a significant milestone of aviation, and his death the next month was mourned across Georgia.